Hello everyone, my name is Abso Monolute, and welcome to a little bit of a different video than my normal ones. This is a Photoshop tutorial on how to turn yourself into an animation or a comic cartoon or something like that. So, first thing we are going to do is we are going to go to File, uh, New, and I like to make mine a 1280 by 720 by a 300 resolution and that's what's required for making thumbnails and that sort of stuff on YouTube so that's the uh, resolution that I'm gonna use so you just go ahead make sure 1280 by 720 with a 300 resolution and copy all the rest of this stuff and just hit OK alright now that we've got this image we're gonna wanna grab the photo we're gonna use so I'm gonna go to open here find it here in a second and this is the image I'm gonna use this is Nick too quick who is another gaming youtuber he's also a administrator moderator of YT gamers network uh, ytgamers.com so I just copy the image over and that way all the brush sizes that you'll be using will be consistent if you like to want to do a lot of these because it's kind of a pain in the ass when each time you do one of these things a brush is going to be a different size it's better just keep everything one size makes life a lot easier so what we're going to do is we're going to stretch this photo out here, bring it up to that corner, edit, transform, scale, hold shift, scale, good, and we'll stick it right there, good. Alright, and here we are. This is our uh, image that we are going to be using. When you are making these images, you want to make sure, make, make, make sure that your lighting is good. If your lighting is not good, uh, like here, his face is a little dark, so it's hard to tell that he actually has an earring on, which uh, I didn't know about either <laughs> until later on that when I did this. Um, uh, if it's too bright, you're going to flush out features of your face, and then getting skin color either way is going to be very, very difficult. So first, we're going to teach you how to use the pen tool. The pen tool is the most important tool, and you can do that by hitting P, or by going down to this left hand corner and making sure you're on pen tool. So how you use it is you're going to left click and that creates what's called an anchor point. And then you're going to left click somewhere else and that creates another anchor point and so on and so on and so on. Uh, this will be used for creating lines and curves. Now you'll notice here you can kind of go all over the place and I created some curves by accident so what you want to do is you can delete that path, right click uh, delete path. Then you go back, pluck it down again, your anchor point, and then you can pluck down another one, but instead of just letting it go, make sure you hold it and go up and down, left and right, however you want to do it to create your kind of curve. That's the most important tool that you will be using in this uh, tutorial here. So you'll never notice how I curved it just slightly, and another tool that you'll be wanting to use is these little uh, lines that are coming off the ends of your anchor point. If you hold Alt and move them down left and right, you can adjust the angle of your next line as well. All right, and then you're gonna hit. Once you got your line, you hit right click, stroke path, and then OK. Make sure it's the right brush size. I didn't use the right brush size, so you're gonna go to hit B or you go to the top left to change that. And try and find the right brush size for you. I like to use the brush size six for the thick outline, then brush size four for the smaller stuff like the eyes and the ears. Let's go around his face and get that kind of stuff down. And this part was a little bit difficult, a little tricky when using the pen tool. And it's a little difficult to tell uh, what's on the inside of his mouth, if there is anything on the inside of his mouth. So I decided to go to his, uh, his channel quick and see if those are like his teeth maybe. It could possibly be, um, so I just kind of outline it for now. And I go around the outer face with a nice thick bold line, like you'll be seeing here in a second. And we'll use a brush tool, and there you go, you kind of have that nice thick uh, layer on the outside there. All right now we got that nice thick outline we can go along the rest of his face and go around the ear and go down the neck here a little bit 
and we got that nice outline again. Now we can do the hair. The hair is going to be a little bit difficult. I won't be able to get every little uh, fluff or spike uh, that is in his hair, but we can get really, really close to it. You don't have to make it. You don't have to make your photos 100% accurate. You just want to get the general idea down, pretty much. So you see, I skipped over a little bit there. Just want to get the main stuff. Go over this little part here, and we are done with the outline of the hair. Now I think I want to do is come back and outline the ear a little bit better. I will do the eyes and stuff here in a second. And yeah, that's kind of like the nice size brush I want to use. So we'll go for the inner ear, and we're using a brush size 4 to do this. <laughs> to get the uh, uh, different layers of the ear, pretty much. And then I forgot to do this little ear lobe part, so let's do that. Good. Let's go back to size 4 and outline the inner ear a little bit more. Go something like that. There we go. Got the ear pretty much done with the outline at least. So it looks like he has some facial hair along his uh, jawline. So I'm going to try and recreate that since it's really, really difficult to see here. Uh, I can try and see what I can do. And it looks like his hairline kind of goes up like this and then down along his jaw here and something like that. There we go. And that creates facial hair. Now we're going to go in and do the lips. The lips were probably the most difficult part for me to do because it was a little hard to see where the lips start and end on his face because of the lighting. The nose is the easiest part to do, of course. That part's very easy. And then we'll go in for the eyebrow. You always want to outline the eyebrow as well. He's got kind of a real nice thick eyebrow. And then we'll go in for the eye. The eye is kind of difficult to get. It's a little hard to see, of course. And what it looks like, he's got a line up here and then maybe some eyelashes going up like that, but it makes him look like he's wearing a type of makeup, so I'm going to take that line out. Now we've pretty much got the uh, outline done. Now we want to add the color. So you're going to do a new layer, Control shift n new layer, name it color. Now when you add in that new layer color, you want to make sure you put it underneath the outline layer uh, or else you're going to get something like, you're going to get something like that where it covers up the outline, which you don't want. So what you're going to want to do is move that layer on the right hand side of your screen down and then you want the outline sticking up top. This way you can screw up the color a little bit and it's hidden by the outline. Now when doing this, you can either use a brush tool to color everything in or you can use a pen tool again. I'm going to show you how the brush tool is going to work. See, I'm going along the outline of his hair and it's not popping through just like with the pen tool earlier. So very, very good. All right, now we're going to get rid of that and we're going to start doing his actual color of his hair. Now I'm going to go through with the brush tool. And if you want to get rid of the picture layer, just uh, hit the little eyeball next to your original photo and then you can actually see what you're doing when coloring. So I'm just going to start with a nice thick brush tool here first, get like a basic outline going. And then I'll come back with a finer brush to get those little pieces that I missed. And this is all fast forwarded, of course. Uh, this took me about 50 minutes to do total. But that's also with uh, him requesting a few things and um, changing a few little small minor details as well. Now we'll do the shirt. Shirt, pretty easy. Pretty much one color. Now when you're doing the colors, uh, you always want to uh, do like a two-tone or a three-tone color amount. And that way it seems a little more realistic. So you have some short, sort of shadow or light on the face. And I'll do that with the shirt and the hair later on. But right now we want to try and find the right skin color. And you want to try to find a real nice good base color for his skin. And we're going to search here, just go on to the middle of his face, kind of where the dark shadowy parts meet the light parts and see what we can find. That looks pretty good. Now I'll go over it with the brush a little bit see if that's a good color. That's a perfect color. So what we're going to do is we are going to uh, get rid of the original image again. I'm going to color his entire face this color first and then I'll go back in and highlight and shadow the rest of it. And I'll even do the lips and everything. And we'll go across the nose, up the forehead, just cover everything in this color. 
There we go. All right. Bring back the original photo so you can uh, get the w figure out where the highlights are and the uh, shadows. So what you do is you take that color we just used and you're just going to make it a little bit lighter. You can make it a little bit darker. And we're going to go along the shadows of his face here. And this is best used uh, with a pen tool. It's a lot easier than with a brush tool. Because you will get those nice, crisp, clean, clean lines opposed to kind of like some sort of jaggedy uh, type line. So you know I've got the highlight uh, color of his face and he's got some more on his neck here. So we're going to put some highlight on his neck. And it looks like it kind of has a little bit more than I initially thought. So I'm going to go back up and go back down along his jaw and fill that in. And there we go. Now we can go with the darker color, with the ears. Because there is a lot of uh, light and there's a lot of shadow in his ears, so we want to try and capture that as best as we possibly can. Again, this is all doing it with the pen tool. It's a little bit easier than the uh, brush tool. Make his skin a little bit darker for the darker parts, so like where his uh, jaw is creating a shadow. Perfect. And we'll get the brush and we'll get the pen tool in there a little bit more. There we go. Alright, maybe the back of his neck a little bit too. It's pretty dark back there due to the shadow. And that should do it for there. Alright, now we got pretty much his skin color done. Let's go in back into the ear for the real dark parts. And take the brush tool to kind of fill in the leftover spaces I missed. And now we're going to do the facial hair. I'm going to take the color of his hair on top of his head. And you're going to fill in this path with the pen tool. I tried it with the brush tool, tried a few different things. But what you want to do is go with the pen tool, and you're going to go outline the whole part of his facial hair. And then once you do the right click fill path, there is an option for opacity, and you want to change that to 50%, uh, whereas right now it's probably sitting at 100%. So you can see here I'm going with the pen tool. Now we're going to go into the eyebrow. We're going to take the same color of his hair and fill that in. Make sure that's on 100% opacity. And we got the eyebrow. Now we're going to do the same thing with the nose. We'll take the dark part of his face, the dark shadowy part, color, and put that in there. Now we'll go in the same thing with his eye. Fill that in a little bit. Now we've got a little bit of a shadow on his eye to create some depth. Now the lips I redid a little bit because I couldn't really get a very good color off of his lips because it's pretty close to the same color of his skin in this photo. So I go back with this color and I try this but it looks too much like he's wearing lipstick so I take that off and I try and go for more of a, a, a pinker color, a more of a realistic type color. But what I actually end up doing in the end is I uh, completely redo the lips because it is a little hard to tell if there is something in his mouth or not um, but I just decided to take that part out make sure it's nice and even and I come back with the four size brush and I try a few different different techniques with his lips and it took me a little while to figure out what looked best. It's not very easy, that's for sure. And I decided to go for something like that. So I take out the color out of his mouth, I change that back to the brown, put the pink back in. And now we've got pretty much the entire image done. I have his eye to do yet. Now the eyes are never 100% white. You always want to make them just a little tiny bit yellow. Now in this photo you'll notice that uh, his eye, like his iris and his pupil are impossible to see. So what I'm doing is I'm recreating that, uh, the pupil and the iris. So I'm going to go in, create a kind of a curved line, going with a uh, brownish color. And I kind of goof it up right there come in with the brownish color, kind of similar to his skin but a little bit darker and then I add a, in the uh, pupil there. 
So it makes it look like he's looking towards the right hand side. Now we're going to add some shadows and highlights to his shirt and his hair. Because this is a part that I forgot to do earlier. <laughs> and this creates some depth. Different images like that. There we go. Looks pretty good. Go all, Make sure you're all the way down on the image here. Now we'll go do his hair. And you just want to take the color of his hair, brighten it up just slightly. And try and figure out some sort of way how the hair is going to be colored. Because in the photo it's kind of difficult to see where it's light and dark. So we're just going to try and recreate that. There we go. We got the hair. Alright, now this is the original photo. That's with the outline and this is with the color. And I talked to Nick afterwards and he wanted to have me do a few changes. Uh, which would be including the earring which I couldn't see in the original photo, which I'm doing here right now. And I had a little misunderstanding about the facial hair, but I do put it back in here in a minute. So I created an earring, just simple circle, and then add a little bit of white. That's the color of his earring, and there you go. Earring done. Now here's the facial hair back in. What he wanted me to do was actually take out the darker part of his, uh, uh the darker part of the skin to the lighter color uh, up into the facial hair. And you'll see what I mean here in just a minute. I just got to fix this one part here quick. There we go. Got that fixed. Then I go back and brighten this part all up. See, this is why you want to make sure that your photos have a good uh, lighting on it. And we'll save that. And that pretty much does it. So we took an ordinary photo and we changed it into a comic animation style cartoon which can be used for thumbnails, uh, logos, banners, whatever you want. doesn't really matter. So if you guys did enjoy this episode, make sure you do hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll be seeing you next time. It was bad. It was really bad. And then I'm sitting there for a while, I stopped eating, and I throw up. <laughs>